let's say that f of x is equal to x squared, x squared plus x minus six over x minus two. And we're curious about what the limit of f of x as x approaches two is equal to. Now, the first attempt that you might want to do right when you see something like this is to see what happens. What is f of two? Now, this won't always be the limit, even if it's defined, but it's a good place to start just to see if, it, if something reasonable could pop out. So looking at it this way, if we just evaluate f of two, on our numerator, we're going to get two squared plus two minus six. So it's going to be four plus two, which is six, minus six. You're going to get zero in the numerator, and you're going to get zero in the denominator. So we don't have, the function is not defined, so not defined at x is equal to two. f not defined. So there's no simple thing there. Even if this did evaluate, if it was a continuous function, then it actually the limit would be whatever the function is. But that doesn't necessarily mean the case. But we see very clearly that the function is not defined here. So let's see if we can simplify this, and we'll also try to graph it in some way. So one thing that might have jumped out at your head is you might want to factor this expression on top. So if we want to rewrite this, we could rewrite the top expression, and this just goes back to your algebra one, two numbers whose product is negative six, whose sum is positive three. Well, that could be positive three and negative two. So this could be x plus three times x minus two, all of that over x minus two. So as long as x does not equal two, these two things will cancel out. So we could say this is equal to, this is equal to x plus three, x plus three for all x's except for x is equal to two. As long as x does not equal two. So that's another way of looking at it. Another way we could rewrite our f of x, do it in blue just to change the colors. We could rewrite f of x, this is the exact same function, f of x is equal to x plus three when x does not does not equal two, and we could even say it's undefined. It's undefined when x is equal to two. So given this definition, it becomes much clearer to, to us of how we can actually graph f of x. So let's try to do it. So that is, that is not anywhere near being a straight line. That is much better. So let's call this the y-axis. I'll call it y equals f of x. And then let's over here, let me make a horizontal line. That is my x-axis. So defined this way, f of x is equal to x plus three. So if this is one, two, three, we have a y-intercept at three, and then the slope is one. The slope is one. But it's defined, and it's defined for all x's except for x is equal to two. So this is x is equal to one x is equal to two. So when x is equal to two, our, it is undefined. So let me make sure I can, so it's undefined right over there. It's undefined, undefined right, right over there. So this is what, this is what f of x, this is what f of x looks like. Now given this, let's try to answer our question. What is the limit of f of x as x approaches two? Well, we can look at this graphically. As x approaches two from lower values than two, so right over, so this is, this right over here is x is equal to two. If we get to maybe, let's say this is 1.7, we see that our f of x is right over there. If we get to 1.9, our f of x is right over there. So it seems to be, it seems to be approaching this value right over there. Similarly, as we approach two from, from values greater than it, if we're at like, I don't know, this could be like 2.5, 2.5, our f of x is right over there. If we get even closer to two, if we get even closer to two, our f of x is right over there. And once again, we look like we are approaching this value. Or another way of thinking about it, if we ride this line from the positive direction, we seem to be approaching this value for f of x. If we ride this line from the negative direction, from values less than two, we seem to be approaching this value right over here. And this is essentially the value of x plus three at x, if we set x is equal to two. So this is essentially going to be, this value right over here is equal to five. If we just look at it visually, if we just graphed a line, if we just graphed a line with slope one with a y-intercept of three, this value right over here is five. Now, we can also try to do this numerically. We can also try to do this numerically. So let's try to do that. So. If this is our function definition, completely identical to our original definition, 
completely identical to our original definition, then we just try values as x gets closer and closer to two. So let's try values less than two. So 1.9999, this is almost obvious, 1.99999 plus three, plus three, well that gets you pretty darn close to five. If I put even more nines here, got even closer to two, we'd get even closer to five here. If we approach two from the positive direction, and then we, once again, we're getting closer and closer to five from the positive direction. If we were even closer to two, we'd be even closer to five. So whether we look at it numerically or we look at it graphically, it looks pretty clear that the limit here, the limit here is going to be equal to five.